Hey guys, what's up? So, I thought I'd show you guys some issues you might have and if your inductive sensor goes out, your bed leveling won't work. But uh, I'll show you a couple of different problems I'm having here and how I'm going to fix it with my new uh, inductive sensor. But I'll show you with the voltage of what's wrong. And uh, but let me show you first. Um, I'm going to open up Pro Interface and then... Uh, so this is the inductive sensor. It's a, this is a printer bot. Simple metal. It's actually one of my favorite printers. It's so precise. I mean, it's just, I haven't really dialed in, so I'm using some carbon filament right here. But uh, this is where it comes out here. It's been capped. This actually came, this is the stock one that came with Parabot. So this is probably about five years old, four or five years old. Um, but let me show you real quick what, what happens with it. And uh, I mean, I pretty much knew exactly what, what happened right away because I've done a lot of research on these sensors. So uh, let me show you real quick. All right, guys, I have my test leads connected there. And I'm already getting voltage, which I think is wrong. I mean, there's a couple different ways. These, you have an NPN, PNP, normally open and normally close sensor. So it's got to make sure you get the right one. I'll put a link where you can get it for the printer bot. But So let me do a first do a G28 command. If you can see that. Sorry, a couple G28. Yeah, I have to fix a bunch of earth stuff too. I'm mean, gonna uh, see. Can't home. So instead of actually homing, normally this bed would go down and do a home. It would actually activate the sensor. By the way, this is confusing too. As you can see, it's still actually working. And also, it's. But I'm suspecting it's leaking voltage. But I do have another one to test here. But even if I run a G29 command, same thing, right? It's, as soon as it actually hit, runs the command, right, to, to bed level, um, it thinks it's already triggered. See? See? All oh, see what's going up. See? Pretty odd. Now check this out, though. So, uh, right now, the center is not triggered. And we're getting 4.10 volts. When I trigger it, like that, you can see the light comes on, it's triggered, but the voltage drop is only about less than a volt. So that's going to freak out the Z sensor, or freak out the, uh, the firmware. It's not expecting that, it's not expecting 3 volts back and triggered. So, let's take a look at this. So I'm getting, not, I'm not even getting a volt. Right now it's powered up to my leads, right in my total power supply. And, all right, so I would normally expect to get five volts back. So I gotta verify this is the right part number because I guess it all depends on the actual motherboard you actually have, but I don't know by default what this thing is supposed to be. Like normally, I'd be sending five five volts back to the uh, Z the Z switch, Z trigger. But when this thing is triggered, it's sending back twelve volts. Yeah, I'm a little worried that might fry out the board. I'm not sure, but. Since I don't know what the stock one does when it's actually working correctly. Alright guys, cool. Alright guys, hope you can see that. Um, I guess the point of what I'm trying to make here is see that little jump right there? This is very unique to this printer board. This is one of the few boards that can actually accept a 12 volt, 12 volt input. So that little jump right there goes from 5 volt to 12 volt. So, if you actually have like an ANET or Creality printer or some kind of printer that doesn't have that special feature, then if you send back 12 volts to the board, you're going to fry the board. So, just keep that in mind. Always check your sensor. That's why I made another video about an octocoupler. So, if you're actually running like a Creality or ANET, you should be uh, running like an octocoupler. But this is very rare. I never see boards like that. It's super rare. That can actually take a 12 volt, 12 volt input and trigger. So. 
ran the wire through and I'm actually going to be putting on a new connector. I actually I'm trying to take out the brakes. I, I don't like any sort of connector brakes, so uh, it ran one wire, goes right to the motherboard. I got the thing all set up. Level that probe there and it's front of a G28 command on there. Obviously, you can tell it's working again. Cool. Homed. So, part was about 10 bucks, and it's definitely a lot brighter than the other one was. So, it was definitely issues with the other one. Um, yeah, I'm doing some other upgrades on this thing. I'm going to do the, uh, uh, the cartridge style thermosistor and uh, some other things. Clean up just a little bit. But, got some, uh, what's it called? This stuff, this uh, build tack I'm going to put on there too. Love this printer, man. Had it for a while, but uh, this is this thing prints incredible. So it prints way better than this thing. But still working on the Marlin 2.0 project, so that's coming up. All right, cool.